What is going on guys welcome back in this video today we're going to learn how to create contour plots in matplotlib in order to visualize three dimensional functions using two dimensions. So let us get right into it. Alright, so we're going to learn how to create contour plots in Python using matplotlib in this video today. Now, contour plots are basically 2D representations or 2D visualizations of three dimensional functions. So a three dimensional function usually takes in two input values x and y and creates or maps it to an output value z. And this whole thing is then a three dimensional function, you can look at it in a 3D plot, you can rotate it, look at it from different angles and visualize it in three dimensions, but you can also visualize it in two dimensions, which is what the contour plot does. And this is what we're going to do in this video today in matplotlib and we're also going to talk a little bit about the idea behind contour plots. Now first of all we're going to open up the command line and we're going to install the two packages that we're going to need for this video today uh, which are numpy and matplotlib obviously. So once you have these two packages installed what we're going to do is we're going to say import numpy snp and import matplotlib.pyplot.splt. And then we're going to define the values. So the input values x and y, and we're going to plot a function. So basically, the z value is going to be the function result. So z equals, and then we're going to use x and y in certain ways. And we're going to visualize that in three dimensions first, and then we're going to add a contour plot to see uh, how these two relate. So we're going to say here that the x values are going to be values from negative five to five. So we're going to use the np lin space function with the boundaries negative five and five. And in between these boundaries, we're going to generate 100 uh, values. And we're going to do the same thing for y. And now in order to not just have the individual values here, so not just zero, one, two, three, four, five, or actually, in this case, it would be negative five, and so on. Um, if you have these values here, you would also have the same values here now on the y axis, what we want to do is we want to get all the value pairs. So if I have x one and y one, I want to have one one as a combination. And if I have x two and y one, I want to have two one and so on and so forth. So to not just get the individual values for the different axes, but to combine them in a grid of values, we use the np mesh grid function. So we say x and y is equal to np mesh grid of x and y. And our z function for now is going to just be something simple like x times y. And then we can easily plot this in three dimensions. I have videos on this channel where I already show you how to do that. We're going to create a figure, which is going to be plt figure. And we're going to pass a figure size of whatever you want. Let's go with 14 and 6 here. Um, or actually, we're going to, yeah, we're going to leave it at 14 and 6 because we're going to need that because we're going to plot it to uh, plots besides one another, but for now we only uh, are going to have one plot. So uh, maybe it's going to be a little bit too wide, but it doesn't matter. We're going to say axis is equal to figure subplot. And for now, I'm going to use one, one, one. Later on, we're going to change it to one, two, one, because we're going to have a second plot. Uh, and the projection for this plot is going to be 3D. And then I'm going to just say axis plot surface. And I'm going to say x, y and z are the values and I'm going to use a column map, which is going to be very this I'm not sure if this is how it's pronounced. Uh, but that is going to be the color map that I use. And then we're going to set some basic stuff here like the title, the title is going to be, um, I don't know, 3d plot. And then we're going to set the axis label. So x label is going to be the x axis. And then I can copy this and do the same thing for y and z with y axis and z axis. And then basically, all I have to do is I have to say plt show this will already uh, actually subplots plural. No, it shouldn't be subplots. Oh, sorry, it's not figure subplot, but figure at subplot. There you go. So this is now my three dimensional function, you can see it's three dimensional, and I'm visualizing it in three dimensions. So you can see I have my x and y input values and whatever I get as an output is the z value. So we have this three dimensional shape that I can look at here. Now, 
plotting a contour plot of this means slicing it on the z axis. So creating planes on different values, um, different z values, and then drawing the lines, basically, that's the contour lines. Uh, before we talk about this too much, uh, first of all, let me change to a different function where this might be more interesting. Let's go with something like np sine of x uh, plus or actually times np cosine of y, just so we have something more visually interesting, because this is what this function looks like now. So we have a more complicated function here, uh, or not necessarily complicated, but yeah, has more a, a more interesting shape, let's put it that way. Um, a contour plot now means taking different z values and just slicing this visualization and getting the lines for specific z values, the contour lines. So in order to see what this looks like, we're going to change this now to one, two, one, because we want to have a second graph. And this second graph or the second axis is going to be axis two, and it's going to also be created by using the add subplot function, but this time with one, two, two, no projection 3D here, because this is going to be a two dimensional function. And the contour is going to be the result of calling x two uh, contour, and then x, y, z color map is going to be the same as above. And then we're going to set a color bar so that we know what values are represented by what colors. So we're going to add contour here, we're going to say axis is equal to axis two, shrink 0 0.5 and aspect equals five. And then I'm going to use the same thing as above, but of course, with axis two, and without a z label, so this is going to be the contour plot x axis, y axis. And then we're going to call also a PLT type layout. And when I run this now, you will see that this is what a contour plot looks like. So basically, we have specific values here uh, for different or we have specific colors for different z values. So the value 0 0.25, which is this one here, has a specific color. And what this is, is basically a top down view. So you can see I have the x axis here, the y axis here. And when I look at it from from uh, top down, this is what I see, actually. So I see that the function has these ups and downs in here, these circles, basically, and sometimes these circles go up, sometimes they go down, indicated by these values here. And you will see that if I change the function that I use the contour function to the contour f function, which fills also with color, uh, I'm going to see that this on the right side here, this contour plot looks basically the same as when I look at this function from the top down perspective. Now, not exactly, but you can see we have the same circles here. Uh, we have a little bit more nuance here in the 3D plot. But that is the idea of a 2D visualization, because using this 2D visualization, I can already understand what this function looks like. I cannot see it intuitively the way I can see it here. But I know that here the function goes up here, it goes down and I have these bumps that go bumps and holes basically that go up and down. And I can also do that for different functions. So I can go ahead and say something like uh, x squared plus y squared, this will be a different function. Um, basically just a nice squared function. And this is what it looks like as a contour plot. Uh, I can see it's going down because it's going, it's getting darker. And I can see that here in the color bar that this means lower values, I can also invert it by saying negative x squared, minus y squared, I can run this and you can see now it goes up because this is brighter. So that's the idea behind a contour plot. And this is how you plot it in Matplotlib. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.